So describe two methods of magnetizing a magnetic material and three methods of demagnetizing a magnetic material. In other words, how do we align all of the domains in a magnetic material? And when we're demagnetizing, how do we scramble those domains up so they're pointing in random directions and there's no more magnetic effect? Well, the first way of, of magnetizing a material is to hold, hold a, a magnet close to the material. So let's do that first. So hold a magnet near to the material. And what will this do? Well, this will induce, to induce magnetism. See uh, our previous flashcards on this for a bit more detail. But effectively, if you put a, a magnet, let's say you have a south pole and north pole, and uh, we have some kind of magnetic material that the magnet is placed close to, then it will induce a it will induce the opposite pole in the magnetic material, and that would mean the magnetic material will be attracted to the the permanent magnet. And that's induction. And you can increase that effect by stroking the material. So we'll just put here increase the strength of induced magnetism. Induced magnetism by stroking. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have a nail, let's say, like this, and uh, say we want to magnetize this steel nail. Remember, steel is a hard material, so it will tend to keep hold of its magnetism. So we would bring our magnet close to the, the steel nail, and we would draw that magnet along the steel nail and back in a kind of circular loop, stroking it 10, 20, 30 times, and that will encourage the domains to line up inside the, the steel, and that would create or induce a stronger magnet than if you were just to hold the magnet close to the steel. Okay, what about a, another method to uh, magnetize? So that's method one. How about method two? Well, what we could also do is we can place the material, place the material or the metal, as they're usually metals, uh, within a long coil of wire. And that coil of wire is called a solenoid. And pass a direct current, a DC direct current, which means that the current, the electrical current, will only go in one direction. Pass a DC current. I guess that's uh, repeating current twice, but uh, direct current, current, but uh, just for clarity, through the coil. And that will create a magnetic effect in the material. So here's our material and we've got a coil with hundreds of windings on it and then we would place, we would uh, connect that to a power source and uh, pass a current through that coil and that would create a, a magnetic effect. And if the material was a hard material then when you turned the current off it would retain its magnet, its magnetism. So that is sometimes called an electromagnet, and that's exactly how electromagnets operate. Okay, how would you demagnetize a material? Well, what we need to do is scramble up all of the domains. So the first way of doing that is to hit the metal with a hammer. Hit the magnetized metal with a hammer. And that shocks 
the domains, the shock wave passes through the material and tends to scramble up the domains again. You might have to hit it several times before you can reduce its magnetism. But that's one way. A second way is also to scramble those domains is to heat heat the material to a high temperature. To a high temperature. And that has the same kind of effect. When you heat a material, it makes the atoms vibrate more and more faster uh, with bigger amplitudes. And that has an effect of scrambling these domains up as well. And thirdly, a really effective method to demagnetize a metal is to place within a solenoid again. That's that long coil of wire. But don't pass a DC current through it, but pass an alternating current. And pass an alternating an alternating current that's sometimes called an AC current which is going backwards and forwards 50 times a second uh, so pass that through the coil through the coil and that has the effect of scrambling the domains as that electrical current moves 50 times a second backwards and forwards the domains don't know which way to point and it scrambles them up so there we are there are two ways of magnetizing a material by induction and by you and by a solenoid electromagnet and then demagnetizing you can hit it heat it or put it in a solenoid and pass an AC an alternating current through the coil